Okay, here's the FX6, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the purge valve. The purge valve is this valve right here. You should be able to see that in the camera. Should be about right there. Maybe I'm not pointed down far enough. Yeah. Purge valve is this right here, and what you do is you, you back off this little coupling, you pull that, and then it comes with this small little tube, and you push that on, you screw back down that coupling, and then you have a spare bucket, put that in there, in that bucket. And what you're going to do is you're going to start taking off your um, hoses that come out of the tank. So you go in and close that off, and you just start real slowly going up with that. still came out of there. Actually, I don't even think I turned that. Okay, make sure you turn the valve before you pull that. Uh, I thought I did that, but apparently not. So, I did get a little bit of water up here on top, which is okay. So, got that wiped up. And then I go on and remove this one too. Once you do that, that releases the pressure in the, the canister, and it starts filling. And that, it'll fill, it'll take quite a bit of the water out of the tank, but sometimes you even have to turn on the pump to, uh, to go in and have it pump the rest out. And I've even seen some other YouTubers with the uh, XX5 on YouTube, they, uh, they actually put a hose on their tank and they leave the uh, the siphon hose uh, coming out of their tank. They leave it on and they just close off this valve, leave this one open, and they use the, the pump on the canister to actually pump out their, their tank to do their water changes so they can siphon the water out of their tank that much quicker. I don't do that. I'm still old fashioned with the uh, hose, but that's a uh, that's how the the purge valve works. And I'm using I think it's a two and a half gallon bucket, and it's almost filled the bucket already. And I haven't had to turn on the pump or anything. So, basically after you get done with how much ever water you want out of the tank, it's a five gallon tank, so, you know, if you wanted to completely drain that, you'd have to, you know, get it like a five gallon bucket. But, uh, after you get done, you just shut that, this valve back, unscrew the hose, and take the hose back off, put your little plug back on there, and you're ready. You can pull your tank, or just uh, hook it back up I mean so just want to show that